Corey? <laughs> you gotta stop. You can't do these things because it looks bad. Oh, yeah. hey. Oh, hi. Look at look who showed up. Oh, yeah. Look, I like the hi, people. You're <laughs> welcome to our van. Like, <laughs> It's like you do it like Rumper Room. Yeah. I see Jim, Jim, and I see Charlie Grace, and I see... <laughs> oh my god. I have to edit that out. No, I like it. Okay, hey guys. We're in Galveston, on Galveston... No, not Galveston Beach. We're on Freeport Beach, southwest of Galveston. So cool. I love it here. Really windy, but we, we like it, and lots of mosquitoes. Mm. But apart from that, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, yes, <laughs> no it is. snow. Move your head over a little bit so you're not blowing up. Move your head, head towards me a bit more. <laughs> Blow <laughs> there, up. There. Oh, look at that. Look how cozy. Uh, oh. And away. Okay. So, just wanted to touch base. We're heading out on a cruise in a couple of days. So exciting. Um, so, we still haven't edited all our old footage. We just give up on it for now. You'll catch up later and wonder why we're in you know, in BC and Alaska Timbuktu. and Galax and Galax Galaxy? Galveston. Galveston. <laughs> Galveston what galaxy same. are we in? <laughs> <laughs> you know what galaxy we're in. You know what? Life happens. Uh, and I'm sick of apologizing. You know what? We'll get our stuff out when we get it out. Watch if you want to watch what we got out and it may not be in order and we'll figure it all out. And you'll you'll say, How did you get from Houston to Galveston to well, that wouldn't be hard. How did you get from Houston to Alaska to San Francisco to... Yeah, it's all over the place. But we just thought we'd touch base with you. Yeah. Before we hop on a cruise, uh, Rob might have a tips and tricks kind of thing. No. A really, yeah, it is kind of a tips and tricks kind of thing. Which one? The one about the van packing the back. Oh, yeah. A garage, a garage thing yeah. coming up. Yeah, yeah. surprising, actually. Uh, I did a time lapse of... Uh, what I have in the garage and I'll yeah. give you an idea what the uh, footage is uh, for packing and uh, telling you what there's no spare uh, space back there because uh, uh, when when we buy uh, our stuff for the van even even a roll of uh, uh, a package of four toilet paper I don't have room to put it in the back there's that uh, little room left yeah. so but anyway you'll see that in, in a time lapse yeah and, we did uh, a while ago that he's, yeah. he's working on because it's a shorter edit than some of our travel videos and what we might be doing going forward once we catch up on all of our old travel stuff i think we we sometimes spend way too much time on our travel videos um not just the filming of it but the editing and then it gets to be a lot of work to go back to it and we've been kind of busy with some different family things going on so um what we might be doing going forward once we catch up and in between catching up on our old footage is putting out some more coffee in the van day in the life of in the van and tips and tricks and that kind of thing because we're kind of spending so much time on our travel footage that we're not doing our day-to-day -day. we're in the van every day if we're not on a cruise ship we're in the van like we don't sleep anywhere but our van day in day out and we haven't been showing our day in day out kind of life in the van stuff so we might be starting to do more of that uh once we're off the cruise ship and kind of getting back on track with things so stay tuned for that kind of stuff uh we had a great drive coming down to texas we came down through Tennessee stopped by to see Charlie Grace she was lovely uh, to go and visit uh, went out for a nice meal with her and her husband and um, she was uh, kind enough to allow us to fix our water pump so we don't have footage on you fixing the water pump do we no yes no 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 so no. we had to fix the water pump it, it died on us and and uh, so we had uh, we fixed it at Charlie Grace's place got a new one sent there and fixed it there so that's working great now so that's awesome because it's nice to have running water in the van and uh, had a nice visit there went down to some stayed at some nice harvest host places along the way through louisiana through alabama and into new orleans and then on to texas so um that was great and then when we got to texas we stopped in to visit with one of our longtime subscribers jim from totally relaxed so that's i'll put it probably here somewhere here, totally relaxed with an exclamation mark. Will that fit in there, you think? Um, uh, no, no, that's totally too small. Relaxed. No, right yeah, here. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh okay. yeah. Yeah, it'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, had a great time with him, and we did another project while we're at his place. That we do have some footage of, so we'll put that on a little bit later in one of our rob's mm -hmm. van maintenance and repair tips yeah. videos. Yeah we're, yeah, we're kind of all over the map. Yeah, here right we're now, feeling a little and, bit. Uh, and, and we're yeah. being. Like Janet said, we're being drawn away from 
uh, our, uh, our our creativity in yeah. that because like you'll notice when I do the time lapse I'm walking around the van mm -hmm. and I am just throwing myself all over the place because one of the things that we're into here is uh, if you haven't noticed a progression of me being uh, mobile that I'm limping worse and worse and worse and I'm waiting for a hip so uh, it's mm -hmm. just a matter of uh, it, that'll be Did this. Did you order summer. one from Amazon? Uh, Amazon <laughs> Canadian Tire. If you don't know what Canadian Tire is, depending where you are, yeah, they're going to give me a new ball joint and uh, tie rod ends, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to and I'm going to get an alignment. So uh, that's pretty uh, much uh, what it is. I, I'm on I'm on the list, and I'm just waiting for my uh, yeah my phone call, and uh, hopefully that'll straighten me up, and I can go straight again. So yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, that that uh, that was a, call, a long long story on that. When it gets done, I'll I'll give you the background of it and uh, actually, uh, uh, yeah, a long story. When I was eight years old, getting hit by a car. So anyway, we'll tell you that story on another uh, on another in the episode. Van. Yeah, to be continued. This isn't really coffee in the van. It's kind of a bubbly in the van. It's not breakfast yeah. time. Or if you're in yeah. Canada, it's not a bubbly. It's a a buble. No, no advertising. Michelle. So, so do you want to do else? a quick little pan? Are we done for what we're going to talk about for now? Oh, we're going to be doing. Probably a, a meal in the van, either a breakfast or a lunch or a dinner in the van kind of video. And we might be doing more of those because there's a lot of times we throw all sorts of things together to make meals. Yeah. And then we think afterwards, oh, we should have filmed that. That looks really great. And then we think about it. Yeah, because some of it can be very creative. And yeah. I, I've done lots of cooking over the years, lots and lots of cooking. My, mm -hmm. my grandmother was a cook for, I think, 62 years. So anyway, uh, that was our passion. Her and I, we used to talk about cooking and she'd tell me things. And so uh, I I've just kind of, uh, oh, a big wind. I think uh, it's too windy. No, it's not, it's beautiful. They're not gonna so, hear us. No, they'll hear us. So uh, yeah, we're gonna include more uh, uh, things of that nature because mm -hmm. there's little tips uh, w when you're living in a confined area or smaller area, how you can organize your fridge and uh, do things like that and prep uh, ahead of time for uh, the times you don't wanna cook as as in depth and uh, have the cleanup that you, uh, you know, normally generate a big mess in a kitchen. You don't appreciate it till you're in a small one, you don't have the space. So right. anyway, we're, we're going to try and uh, do things like that and yeah. uh, just expand our daily life into uh, uh, editing that will uh, allow you to see that. Yeah, because it's a, it's a faster edit too and that's the problem. I think we get too we get too much footage when we're traveling and then we get co too caught up in oh we can't do anything new until we catch up on the old and mm -hmm. then what happens is we don't do any new footage because we're we're still feeling you know frustrated that we haven't caught up on the old stuff so yeah. then we're, we're not getting our day-to-day -day. so we're going to do a bit more day-to-day -day stuff and then yeah. we'll finally throw in the other st old stuff when we yeah the the day-to-day -day is more like you're documenting and you're more just kicking it out yeah as a as opposed to uh a lot of times you're trying to create something with all the different uh pieces mm -hmm. while you're traveling and yeah. uh, create a story rather than just document an event right yeah right so. thanks for clarifying that well Mister. you're welcome Okay, that's so polite. That's a very polite coffee in the van for us. Yeah, it is. You didn't insult me once. <laughs> You're a smart man. <laughs> okay, show the people outside how beautiful it is. We're not going to go outside because there's a problem outside for a few minutes last night. Oh my gosh, he was covered in so many mosquitoes. It wasn't oh, even funny. Was he was, and he's a northern <laughs> man. He he knows mosquitoes, and he was coated. He, he opened the door and we had a dozen mosquitoes oh, in here. Oh, yeah, like they're seconds. vicious out here. Yeah. And it's, it's known for that. Yeah. That and snakes. They got rattlesnakes here and cottonmouth, coppermouth or something like that. There's a couple of venomous cotton, snakes cotton. here on the beach. And, uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. a Texas rattlesnake, which is a Texas snake, but they like this dry area, I guess, and the dunes uh, mm -hmm. for hunting for rodents and things of that nature. But oh. it's quite beautiful. Well, I'm thinking about it. A couple more shout outs. We stopped at several breweries along our travels. Um, and uh, we went to one of them was Fortress Spearworks. And we met Dalton, who Dalton. is at Fiamma. Yep. So shout out to Dalton with Fiamma food truck. I think they do more like the wood fired pizza and stuff like that. Such a nice guy to chat with and uh, loved Equal Parts Brewing, Faubourg in New Orleans. So yep. we, we kind of did a little brewery tour and now we're kind of done with the beer for a little bit. <laughs> 
but yeah we had a, we had a great time in Houston um, in uh, Trinity Bay and then now we're down in the Galveston area and we we love Galveston we I knew nothing about it we knew nothing about it and there's a lot of old architecture here it's quite pretty yeah so yeah, yeah so but, uh, the, the, the only downside is a lot of trains <laughs> oh yeah everywhere we stay everywhere there's trains we everywhere go. it's like uh, such in a the tease. middle of the night they'd start whistling crossings <laughs> and I'd break into a cold sweat oh my god <laughs> So, but anyway, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's nice down here, and unfortunately, uh, at some point we'll have to head back to Canada. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, for the time being, uh, we're enjoying it. Oh, and stay tuned to the end for a special surprise because if you remember a while back, a few months ago, we stopped by to see Paula uh, at Van Vita Travels, and we we were interviewed by her uh, live on one of her lives, and we talked about me winning a conch blowing contest. So any of you that watch us on a regular basis um, know that we discussed uh, me winning a conch blowing contest one time in Key that's, West. That's conch. C O N C H. We'll, we'll put that right down here. That was right in front of my face. It won't be right there. So anyways, <laughs> you don't like conch, conch, in your face? Conch, conch blowing contest, and I won it. So I found the old footage. Stop it. I found the old footage. So I'm gonna put that at the very end of this video. I'll try to, I'll bring the volume down so it's not too loud, but um, be prepared for it. It's, it's, it's quite a long conch blowing event. So stay tuned to the end of this video for that. Okay, so should we end with that? No, you're gonna end with showing them the video. Oh, yeah, you're gonna yeah. show, just he's gonna okay. grab you. He's just gonna grab you yep. and he's gonna just wheel you around here to show it. Okay. And, I, and I'm done, so. Okay, hang on, <laughs> hang on, here we go. There's the, the beach. Part? Music. Cue the music. Cue the music.